Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Trizzy, back again with another video. Today's video is about the nightclub in GTA 5 Online and how it's one of the best businesses to own in GTA 5. The nightclub is one of the easiest businesses to operate as long as you know what you're doing and you do have prior businesses, which I will be explaining. This week, the nightclub is at a discounted price, so I suggest everybody hops on to take advantage of this. It's never gonna get this low again, it's probably never gonna be lower in a while. So, do hop online, it only will cost you around a million dollars. Buy one, trust me, it's one of the best businesses in the game. So right here we have warped into the nightclub itself and we are going to go to the desktop that is located upstairs. As you can see right here, you're simply going to walk in. There's a wall safe located in front of this which we will be talking about. But right now let's go over some quick statistics. Just like any other business, you're going to have to walk inside. But the only difference with the nightclub is that there is no supplies or idea of stealing supplies. Your technicians are doing all that for you which I'm about to explain real quick. So right here, if we go to the warehouse management page, you can see that there are five technicians and seven businesses. Obviously, as you can see from the top right there, the price for each technician gradually increases. You want to buy all of them if you want to make the most money out of this business. When it comes to the bottom section of this page, as you can see, there are seven different businesses you can own. These are the businesses all throughout GT5 Online, such as the CEO creates the bunkers, and majority of them are the MC president businesses and how there's different things such as cocaine, organic stuff, paper, cash document, that type of stuff. The ones that say yes on them, as you can see on the page right here, are the ones that you want to have your technicians assigned to. It does not matter what technician you assign to them, as long as there's a technician on them, those will be what you'll be making money off of. For example, the top right business to South American Imports, that business makes you about $10,000 an hour, and you can make 20 units or 20 boxes out of it, so you can get a value of $200,000 off of that business alone. Right here, I'm about to show you guys, I went over to my MC President Clubhouse and I opened up the laptop that's located there. And these are all the businesses that you can buy. As you can see, I do own four of the businesses. They are good businesses to have, but the only problem is they don't make a lot of money. You can make way more money selling CEO crates and bunkers compared to these things, but they're nice to have, stock up on supplies, and for a rainy day, just go over there and sell them, especially when it is double money. That being said, we do need these businesses for the nightclub. So I personally went out there, even though they were like 900K, just bought them. It's worth it. The nightclub is going to make you way more money than these things will single-handedly. Back over to the desktop located in the nightclub. There are upgrades like there's any other business and you want the equipment upgrade. Right there you can see it does cost $1.4 million. It's expensive but trust me it's worth it. If you don't have it the nightclub's not worth it. It makes money so much easier to make. Trust me you want to get that equipment upgrade. Right here is the page where you do sell goods. As you can see it does show how many crates or boxes you can make and how much each thing sells for. Next up we're going to talk about DJs and if they really are useful in this game. Personally, I don't think they're useful at all, but hey, if you do want to do them, you can do them. It's okay to have it, promote your club, but it's obviously your choice at the end of the day. Right here, you can see that my current daily income is only $100. That means every day in GTA 5 Online, which is 48 minutes in real life, I make 100 bucks. Right there, you can see my popularity is at completely zero, and I made 500 bucks right now. So the point is, if you do want to increase popularity, you can do different things such as promote your club or buy a DJ. Right here, I'm about to show you one of the options, which is promote your club. If you ask me, promoting the club is the biggest waste of time. You're better off easily going out and just stealing some CEO crates and selling those, especially this week as they are double money. When you press promote the club, you can get different missions. For example, there is one where you gotta go around Los Santos putting up posters, or this one where you do have to hop in a blimp, go to three different locations, and simply just play music. They don't take long, don't get it twisted, but the problem is they're not really worth it, especially when it comes to promoting the club. You're gonna see how much my popularity goes up when I finish it. As you can see, I finish it right there, I go to it, and we're simply gonna drive back to our nightclub to do the next part of this. So just like that we warped over to our nightclub and as you can see right there my popularity legit went up by a bar and a quarter by max. It's not worth it. There is another way to max out your bar and that is actually buying a DJ. As you guys can see right here when it does come to getting a DJ they do end up costing 100k to buy a new DJ or 10k to book back an old DJ that you already bought. Once you buy a DJ for 100k he won't cost 100k again simply 10k and they will come back to play for you. But that being said, if you do get a new DJ, you do gotta do a whole mission about getting them. As you can see right here, we skipped past the whole mission and I got the DJ to come to my workplace and now she does work here. That being said, once you do finish it, like I promised, the popularity bar will get maxed out. But I cannot stress it enough guys, it's not worth it. If you ask me, do other businesses, let the popularity be zero, it does not affect anything at all. Obviously, once you do fill out your bar, you are gonna get more money per hour. Right here, you do end up getting $10,000 per hour or 45 minutes in real life in GTA 5 Online. That being said, if you do also have the upgrade for the staff, it will make the bar stay up longer, but it's not worth it if you ask me. 
Next up, when it comes to selling stuff in the nightclub, there are three different vehicles you can get. These are two of the vehicles right here. The one on the left is for way bigger shipments, and that's the one that you want to have. Because at the end of the day, you want to be holding up your stock and just keeping it for a rainy day, and then boom, hopping in this thing and selling it. That being stated, it's not necessary to have any of these things. You're about to see right here what happens if you don't own any of them. It does make you sell in this kind of van, which isn't that bad. You can upgrade these things also to make your life easier. But keep in mind, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because I am doing the public solo lobby glitch, so there's nobody here to really grieve me. Right here, you can see I'm about to sell my stock for $5,000. Trust me, this is not worth it. I usually sell for hundreds of Ks. I'm just doing this to show you guys what type of missions you get and what type of stuff you can end up doing when you want to sell it. One thing that a lot of guys forget when it comes to the nightclub is Mr. Tony over here is going to take 10%. So for example, if you do save your stock up to when it's worth around a million dollars, he most definitely is taking 100k off of you. But if you ask me, it's kind of worth it because you are really doing nothing for this nightclub other than just leaving it there and work on your other business at the same time. So right here we are at the end of the mission. As you can see, I have delivered two of the crates. In this said mission, no NPCs chase me, but there will be some where NPCs chase you. Obviously, it is random generated by Rockstar itself. That being said, like any other business GTA 5, obviously guys will grief you if you do it in a public session because you do have to sell supplies and all this stuff in a public session. You can't do it in invite only or solo session. So like I said earlier, I am doing this in a public solo lobby. There's nobody else in my session. It's just me. So I'm not worried about nobody trolling me or griefing me at the end of the day. Another quick benefit of the nightclub obviously is the oppressor mark 2. Everybody wants to have it. There are guys who use it for bad, but trust me, that they makes your life much easier in this game. That being said guys, this is the end of the video. I cannot stress this enough, if you don't own a nightclub, now is the perfect time to hop online and grab yourself one. It is 40% off like I said earlier, so make sure you hop online and use that discounted price. Even if you don't own any of the small businesses, I know a lot of guys look over the MC President businesses. Trust me, buy the nightclub now and who knows, maybe next week one of those businesses might be on sale and we can take advantage of that too. Alright, so before we end this video off, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot to me. We were able to hit 600 subscribers and the goal is 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. That being said, you guys okay, are awesome. Thanks for the support. Sale. You already know who it is, man. It's your boy Trizzy, and I'm out.